today. From Bills Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. It's week 12 of the NFL on EA Sports. And we are underway in Buffalo. Taken in the end zone. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. They'll be led out by their quarterback, the guy out of California, the former Cal Bear, Jared Goff. You talk about the pause that refreshes. I think it's come at a perfect time of the year for them, hasn't it? You know, they, it's the season is starting to wind down, got a little bit of a break. But how about the guy calling the signals? He's got to be excited about that because now he didn't just get a game plan for one week. He was able to work on it for two weeks. I can't wait to see if they have anything special in, in store for him today. Fighting through it. He's got space. And great yardage here all the way deep into Los Angeles territory. For a huge play there right off the bat. 59 yards for him on the ground. So they had it bottled up, able to make a man miss, and then boom, off to the races. And it's how he made him miss. A little bit of strength, too. Had to work through contact to get him off of him. And then once he did that, now he put his agility to use and took off. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll get nothing out of that one. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. And the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line. So it's second and ten. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Jalen Smith able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. Well, nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. He's going to drop this one down for Chubb. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production. But I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. Yeah, that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Had just the one big play on the drive, but that was enough to put him in field goal range. And one big play of what they hope will be many others throughout the game. Every team has a different target for the number of plays like that. Those explosives that we talk about, that allowed him to put points on the board on that drive. Let's we'll see how the rest of the game goes. So here come the Chargers as they get set for their first drive. They will be led out by their dual threat quarterback, the veteran from Clemson. It's Deshaun Watson. Well, his ratio was good last week. Most quarterbacks are really excited about a three to one ratio, but it's flipped in the wrong direction. <laughs> he threw three interceptions, not touchdown passes, and he only had the one TD pass in that game. So he's trying to turn that around and find a way for his team to win. Thousand-yard rusher each of the last two seasons. It's Chris Carson. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. They run it with Carson, and he's got Rome. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. A gain of 28 yards there, and give him a first down. Even from up here in the booth, the play-by-play -play guy could tell that there was some pretty good blocking on the right side of the line. Well, you have good eyes, and it's almost like a ballet when it's executed that well. Everyone in the right spot, everyone in sync, everyone hitting the perfect notes. A little more percussion and a lot more bass, I would think, than you get your normal ballet. But at the same time, that was well executed. Xavier Woods, the free safety, up to make the tackle. Three-yard pickup. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. On second down, it's Carson, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Shaquille Griffin on the tackle. It's a gain of a yard, and it's third down. 
First down marker at the 31. It's third down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the veteran Antoine Bethea. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Well, not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things that I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to wipe things away pretty easily and move on. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Big Geno Atkins there to bring him down. One yard gain brings up second and nine at the 37-yard line. On second and nine, Goff got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. And one. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way. Work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner? Safety? Linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. Uh-uh. He is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on forward. I apologize in advance, partner, but the V feeders on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And that will come the offense as they take over. Chris Carson trotting back out there at his current pace. Sure looks well in line for a 1,000-yard season. But some of the older folks watching that remember the 12-game seasons in the NFL probably say, man, it was a lot harder to do that back then. Yeah, even the 14-game seasons. And, you know, when we talk to those veteran runners, some of those guys who wear gold jackets, right, and appear in Canton, they look at this and go, you know, it's kind of like going to school and taking five years to get your degree instead of just four. <laughs> a victory lap. Now, they also used to walk uphill to school both ways. In the know, snow. In the snow. Blizzards. Milk was five cents. <laughs> hey, but he's having a great year not to take anything away from him. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They run the counter. Carson. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Chargers nothing. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Edo Smith, his first carry. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Four yards the pickup, first down. A four Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. This defense really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Now on second and 13, Watson. And he's got Edelman for the first time. That's complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 42. A gain of 13. It's a first down. First down, Los Angeles. First and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 42-yard line. Now a first carry for their fullback. Foyasade Aluakon made the tackle there from his safety position. A good solid game there on first down, but the defense has to be happy they didn't let it pop for anything bigger. Second and six. Here's Watson. That'll be taken in there by James Washington. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 26. 11 yards there, first down. First down, Chargers. On 
on first and ten. Lots of and he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. Noah Spence just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Impressive individual effort there. No one was going to stop him around the edge. Yeah, no doubt about it. And that's why if you play in a 4-3 base and you're a defensive end, that's why you get the big bucks. They count on you to do everything. Defend the run and, of course, get to the quarterback. And he's got his man in stride complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. First down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. He was trying to get it to Edo Smith that time, but it'll be second down. They well, certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. That's complete right around the eight. And all the way down inside the five to the four. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Chris Carson, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers have taken the lead. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that, and it wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind, and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it was all capped off by the Chris Carson touchdown run. Dustin Hopkins set to kick off. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And Hill will opt for the touchback at their own 25-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team, and that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin of error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. His throw incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver. But now it's third down. Incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. An unlucky number here, a loss of 13 on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. A big loss on the play. Brings up fourth down. Here's Matt Wild now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the special team's penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. Now it's Carson. The tackle is made by Rodney Gunter. 
Well, the end of all that hitting and holler, and it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Flushed out right. Got an open man. It's Washington. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Seven yards there and a first down. Watson on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Watson now to throw on third down. He's got Jack Doyle. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears trying to go for it on fourth. They will indeed snap it to Watson. This is caught. It's Julian Edelman. Watson's pass. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. To the air yet again, Watson. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, Watson forced out to his left. And he's going to keep it here. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up getting 9 after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Brings up second and a yard. Line of scrimmage, the 9. Second and about a yard. Back to throw, Watson rolling to his right. And this is going to be a Charger touchdown. Deshaun Watson in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. CD for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And the final act belonged to Deshaun Watson in his touchdown run. Dustin Hopkins set to kick So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. First and 10 at their own 22-yard line. No reason to do anything foolish as they'll snap it one more time on first down. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Things starting to get interesting in this final weekend before Thanksgiving. So let's there you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. Daniel Carlson set to kick. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. Now it's Wilson. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. 
the Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 24 yard So here are the Chargers to take over. They've got the lead here, trying to make amends for that loss last week against the Denver Broncos. They start this drive now, first and 10. Start out on the ground with Carson. And he'll get this one up to the 26. On the Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. At the 26. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. They run again with Carson. He takes this for three to the 29. Chris Carson, the ball carrier. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. Now it's Watson. He'll buy some time right. He may try and run for this. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yard line. No, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. On the draw, this is Smith. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Quick throw completed by Watson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A gain of nine. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. On second down now, it's Smith. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 37. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. At the 31-yard line. From the 31, Watson. They'll set up the screen to Smith. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. It's a gain of six. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. And now this throw complete to Washington. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. From the gun, here's Watson, flush to his right. Now he'll pull it down. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Taken in by the tight end, Doyle. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Defense. can't do that.
so mark off the yardage for roughing the passer. And I've seen this before. On a screen pass, not only are you rushing the passer, you're rushing him deeper than normal. And I think a little frustration kicks in at the end. You're going to hit him anyway when you shouldn't. And it's caught. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now in Buffalo. It's Charger football, and they've got the lead as well as we begin the fourth quarter. They'll come out in the pistol from the two now, second and goal. They'll try to run with Carson. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. They call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you're, you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Carson. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. Chris Carson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. The Chargers, they're able to widen their lead. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating, will we have to make the call? They already had it lined up, never even got to it. And his kick is right through. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it was all capped off by the Chris Carson touchdown run. Dustin Hopkins set to kick off. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And this carries into the end zone. And Hill will opt for the touchback. At their own 25-yard line. And here come the Bills. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth quarter. First down throw, gone. Throw right side, going to be caught by Waller. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Now Goff on first down. That's Cordero Patterson hauling it in. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Second and four. To the air again. Gone. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. First and 10 at the 23-yard line. On first down, it's gone. That's caught by Waller out left side. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. That catch good for only a couple. Brings up second and eight. At the so second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Goff throwing again. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Brings up third down and eight yards to go. The Bills on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and eight. Again, golf. And this is going to be intercepted. Greedy Williams picks it off. That interception may be the exclamation mark on what really all around has been a good performance. A fantastic performance. They will enjoy film session 
their grade should be very good on this one. And I think the next time the offense gets the ball, I just think about running it and getting the clock done and getting the heck out of here. And by the way, semantics here, but before the grammar police come after me, I think it's exclamation point, not mark, right? You're asking me? Seriously? Yeah, you're smarter than me. Everybody knows that. Listen, I go with what you say, my man. <laughs> He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. At the 23 yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. He's going to take off with it. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice gain. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get this up to about the 40. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They... He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. The first down. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Buffalo set to get the football back here. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Three-yard line. On first and 10, Goff. This one caught by Ridley. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. To throw again on second down. Goff. If he's their best threat on offense, you should number one cover guy on defense. It doesn't matter about size. They have had him locked up. That just his first catch of the game. Big reason why they're down. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. To try again after the sack. Goff. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. Goff's pass. And quickly, they get to the line. Third and long. It's gone. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason McCourty. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. At their own five-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should. And oh, that is going to be a safety. That's 
So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And this, not always an easy proposition, Charles. You had a West Coast team that traveled east, but they got the job done. And there's so much that goes into it because your body time and your body clock different from what you're used to west because if you go east, you're going to lose up to three hours, right? So is your body going to be awake when it's time to play? A lot of teams actually rehearse it. They practice it. Maybe the week of the game, they move everything up to that time frame so guys get used to doing it that way. I remember when I played at Tennessee, when we had to go from east to west, our trainer, Tim Karen said, leave your watches on East Coast time. Every piece of information we got was East Coast Standard time. 